What's up Gators? This is David Hater and welcome back to Blues and Bullets. So in the last video we got to know more about this game and we were introduced to a lot of characters in this game as well. So let's continue playing this game and see where this game takes us shall we? Alright, so in the last video, we are uh, dropped off at a hotel of some sort, where there was some sort of a uh, ball party going on, in order to meet Al Capone. And that's weird. Alright. Hopefully that did not mess up anything. Yep, we are dropped off at the uh, hotel. We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? Okay, let's continue playing this game. Let's see if we can actually interact with anybody. So, uh, yeah, in the last video, we were also introduced to the main character, and his name is Elliot Ness, who was a former a uh, detective of some sorts. I do believe um, he is voice acted by uh, the same actor who was voice acting Geralt, who is a character from the Witcher series, who is a very uh, favorite character of mine because I love that game. I love the Witcher series. So uh, yeah, this game is pretty cool. Yes, very interesting. Two ladies. You have nothing to say about that, Elliot? Nothing at all? The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. Hmm, yeah. Nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. All right, so let's continue and see if um, there's anything else we can interact with. Because I'm pretty sure there's an achievement to unlock where you have to interact with everything in this game. Wow. Come on, dude. Are you really that much of a klutz, though? All right. So I wish I could kind of run in this game. Hey, Ryan. Owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Cool story, bro. Damn. Alright, so I see our buddy over there waiting for us, but let's just continue looking around the uh, the hotel real quick okay so um, yeah let's just keep moving forward okay let's go I really wish we could kind of run in this game because this game is very slow paced. And it's very apparent by how slow you walk. <laughs> but that's fine. Scared of heights? Um. Lie? Not at all. You? <laughs> I no. guess I'm scared of heights. Is that a lie? If you need a paper bag, I have one. I guess I am scared of heights. How high does this thing go? 
higher than the clouds. Okay. So we're riding the Hinderberg. Are you serious? Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so... Yeah. For some reason, the game crashed on me, and I had to uh, get back into here, but hopefully it won't crash this time. fancy go to the reception desk can I go anywhere else can I talk to some people please I guess not I'm afraid I can't come with you thanks for the pie but Welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please? Um, my name... is Elliot Ness? Ness. Elliot Ness. Thank you, Mr. Ness. Nice choice. Sounds genuine. And now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. Um, domineering or cunning? Cunning. Listen, Susan, I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. The other is to send me through and earn my eternal gratitude and his. Your call. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you, Susan. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. All right. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. What kind of person can afford this kind of luxury? Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day, and suddenly, the storm hits you. Alright, so let's just interact with the environment. Okay, so we're in some sort of ball here. You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Theater? Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I really do wish I could, I could control the camera. This game seems a lot more cinematic than I had expected. It's definitely a lot more slow paced than I expected, too. Alright. So I'm guessing we're just gonna keep going until we see an interactable, interactable object. Higher than the clouds. All right. 
Let's get upstairs and meet Capone. Once again. Jesus, these some Your tall ass please. tears. The cable tears. car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. I really wonder why Capone wants to meet us. That's what I'm really curious about. Oh, okay, so camera's closing on me. Alright, so it doesn't seem to be very free roaming this game. Hey Ryan. Owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. That's a mouthful. The window cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. All right. So there's fireworks outside. I guess we're celebrating something. Um, nostalgia. I don't remember the last time I did that. I mean, that was kind of weird. Why well, did I have to make a decision for that? And how come these, every time I put like some coins in this thing, I don't get anything out of it? Come on! Well, that's weird. Alright. So this Capone's door. <laughs> All right. And so one day my magnificent flying wonder will purify this pagan city with eternal fire. A Ryan twelve thirty five. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to Capone directly. I'm gonna try not to, um, screw around anymore. Since it seems like what this is here? not free Nothing roaming. to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. Um, ethics? Or the police? You never had problems with the police? Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Ethics. How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know where I worked before this, my good man. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. Okay, so we're just getting a scenic view here.
All right. So where's Capone? Seriously. Sorry. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's get in here and see what Capone wants. If it wasn't for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. You should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah. Not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. <laughs> As are you. Purpose. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? Um. Curiosity. I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. When you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? No way. What? I require your services as a detective. Um... Irony. You're so old, I don't know if you're senile or if you're joking. <laughs> Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? Eh, only Milton. The man who brought you here, I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his fifties. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses. Well dressed. Could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. 
So where should I be looking? Um, you can ask the Mafia. You were the biggest boss in the Mafia. And by the looks of this place, you didn't lose everything. Why don't you ask one of your subordinates for help? You don't listen, do you? The kidnapper was hired by one of my men. One of the people I trust. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to restrain yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. Alright. So, should we take up this case or not? Um, for the sake of this playthrough, I'm just, I'm just gonna say it's for her. Why not? I'll do it. Not for you. For her. I knew I got the right guy. But I want something in return. As you can see, I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. Um... Donation? Exile or jail? How about... Um... I don't know. Exile? You leave Santa Esperanza and the country forever. It's a deal. I always wanted to die in Sicily, but that's the least of my worries. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just saved Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait, you know where to find him? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. A girl? You saying you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Deal? Deal. That's a spirit. Keep Milton informed at all times, huh? You hear me? Alright, so I kinda regret- I know you from somewhere. I kind of regret leaving my real name at the hotel because now people can try to track me down and hold that against me. Oh man, I should have done that. I kind of regret doing that. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words. You should be running. I'm never going to help. You. Why me? I'm not asking you to help me. I'm not a ghost. I'll okay. do it. Not for you. For her. Alright, what's going on here? Am I getting some more flashbacks? This town has become a jungle. Whoa. We're not even the rats are safe. Oh my god, this is so cool. Those who swore to protect us fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have left. Oh my god. Those who should judge them prefer to squabble over their prey. Hey, it's so cool. Like this. The Santa Esperanza I was born in was a clean town. A place where it meant something to be a cop. Oh my god, we got a shooting scene again. Cool, okay, so we're having another shooting scene. Alright, so this is unexpected. Jeez, this is probably one of the coolest, like, intros ever. Come on. Come out here. You know you wanna. Okay. All 
All right, so we're shooting out some made-up characters here. He took everything I had, but in the end, I sent him to hell. Oh my goodness, this is one of the coolest intros ever. We built my life, got my feet back on the ground. Jeez Louise! And now he's back, and he's dragged me in. That was so cool, man. I'm gonna need help. What? Uh, whiskey or juice? No, don't go back to whiskey, man. You gotta sober up. Um... Just answer the dang call, man. Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Um... Um... I'm gonna lie. Some mail turned up for him at the diner with a wrong address. Elliot, don't lie <laughs> to me. I'm a cop. If you go outside the law, I can't protect you. Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. I am the law. <sighs> Tomorrow's going to be a I am Batman. I am the law. Achievement unlocked. Old enemy. Thirty one Wicker Avenue. This is it. You sure? I'm sure. At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. Um, job. You worked as a waiter? I was a chef. And not in any old kitchen. At the maximum security penitentiary on Gore Island. Can't think of a better way to do time. And how do you think I met Alphonse? Playing golf? Alphonse. On the subject of cooking, I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. I still don't know what. Alphonse. So what now? You got a plan? Take a look around, in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. My pleasure. Alright guys, so I'm going to take a break here. So, I know guys that this game is kind of slow paced. And it's kind of weird considering that this is an adventure game and it's not as free roaming as other adventure games are. But I'm still enjoying this game because I am really curious about what exactly happened to the little girl. Because I do believe the uh, Al Capone's granddaughter is a girl that we saw in the beginning of this game. I am really curious about what the game has to say about that and what the connection to that intro is. And also the, the intro production for whatever we just saw was probably one of the coolest things I ever saw in any game ever. I mean, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. And um, yeah, that was amazing. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break here. But I still hope that you guys are enjoying this series. And if you do, then please leave a like to show your support and to let me know that you want more. Also, leave some comments below and let me know what you guys think of this game, because I'm really curious about um, if you guys still want to see me play this game because I'm enjoying it so far even though this game has not given me a lot of opportunity to you know give you some cool commentary and stuff but hopefully yeah hopefully you guys are still enjoying this so um yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you later Gators